WA researchers have made a major breakthrough in the treatment of breast cancer. Trials of a new pill are having remarkable results in slowing the disease and shrinking tumours. Hi Angela, good morning, how are you doing today? Angela Rondis is a breast cancer survivor, cured after five rounds of chemotherapy and a mastectomy. But three years ago, a new blow, the cancer had moved to her lungs. She says to me, good lung cancer. I say, how come I'm good lung cancer after all this stuff? The 63-year-old was given four years to live, but after two years of taking part in a clinical trial, she's completely cancer-free. Because I'm a um, um, patient with a breast cancer and with a lung cancer, I couldn't believe it. In, in, it's going to happen, but it's happened. The treatment, a new drug called palbocyclib, effective at shrinking oestrogen-driven cancers. Usually oestrogen in the body triggers these cells to, to multiply and um, this drug uh, sits just above the machinery in the cell that makes them multiply and switches off multiplication. Researchers say the results are promising. 85% of patients' cancers have either shrunk significantly or stopped growing for six months. The average remission time was also nearly doubled from 14 months to 25. It's the kind of thing that makes all the, all the treatments and setting up all the trials worthwhile, really. That's what we're hoping to see for everybody, and it's wonderful when it happens. Breast cancer rates in Australia are staggering. Every day, 42 women are diagnosed with a disease and seven of them are expected to lose their lives. But doctors say this drug could drop that number or even one day provide a cure. An application is being prepared for the Therapeutic Goods Administration for the drug's approval. Researchers are also confident it will be listed on the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme as early as next year. The treatment now also being tested on patients with prostate cancer and brain tumours. It can help a lot of people and it's doing the best for me and it's done good for me and I'm very grateful. <laughs> Caitlin Barr, Nine News.